Hi everybody, it's Miss King from Kids Smart. Today we are going to be reading Thelonious Monsters Sky High Fly Pie, a revolting rhyme by Judy Sierra with delicious drawings by Edward Corin. See you on the other side. Thelonious Monsters Sky High Fly Pie, a revolting rhyme by Judy Sierra with delicious drawings by Edward Corrin. Permission for read-alouds during distance learning granted by Dragonfly Books, a division of Penguin Random House. The lonious monster once swallowed a fly and decided that flies would taste grand in a pie. That silly guy. Thelonious urgently emailed the spider. He wanted advice from a savvy insider. You'll need something sticky, was her reply, to catch a fly. Thelonious monster concocted a goo of molasses and sugar and honey and glue, and he rolled out a crust of astonishing size. Now for the flies. Thelonious stealthily followed a horse, and a dog, and a cat, and a cow, and of course, he dived in a dumpster. He circled a sewer, and spent several hours near a pile of manure. He lured hundreds and thousands of succulent flies, and their footsies all stuck to his fly-catching pie. Perhaps they'll die. Thelonious monster addressed invitations to all his disgustingest friends and relations. Please come to my mansion this Sunday for pie. Don't wear a tie. On Sunday, Thelonious opened the door to 11 teen ravenous monsters or more. His aunties, his uncles, his cousins, his chums. How it glistens, they shouted. And listen, it hums. It's the tunefulest pie that has ever been made. We shall march to the buzz in a monster parade. As they picked up their forks and they circled the room, the pie full of flies lifted off with a voom. It whirred and it whined, with all of the monsters glumping behind. It whizzed out the window, it whooshed to the sky. Bye bye, fly pie. The lonious monsters started to cry. Now, no one will taste my sensational pie. But though it had taken him so long to make it, the monster had somehow forgotten to bake it. Mm. But then, by a stroke of incredible luck, in the sky, all the flies' little feet came unstuck. When the pie fell to earth in a huge cloud of dust, 11 teen monsters devoured the crusts. His creepiest cousin declared with a roar, Ah, dessert like this never existed before. A pie that could sparkle, could sing, and could soar. It's despicably sweet with a slight hint of fly. You're a fabulous cook. You're a wonderful guy. We love your pie. Thelonious means scrumptious. Thelonious, thank you for forgetting. More flying pies. Bravo, Thelonious, our favorite pie monster. Four stars for Chef Thelonious. Treat series from our pie guy. Marry me, Thelonious. Did you 
know that the chocolate chip cookie was invented by mistake? Thelonious thought that his pie was a disaster, but it turned out to be a success. Can you think of a time when you thought you made a mistake, but other people were thrilled with what you had done? I think the moral of the story is, keep being creative. Whatever inspires you, go for it. And something that you think is a big disaster, other people might think is a beautiful masterpiece. So keep singing, keep drawing, keep writing, keep dancing, keep cooking. I think I'm going to go make a cockroach tuna fish Brussels sprout pie. How does that sound? No? Okay, maybe just apple. See you next time.